Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard, and about uh, five days ago, I happened to be in Poland and uh, came across a new uh, scheme, scam, crypto, this, that, uh, from some people I've dealt with before, from the Tarith boys, from uh, Makoshio Vani and John Castino. And they were pitching some new shitcoin, some new product called Miracle Cash and more. And you know what we never got to? We never got to... What is the product? Well, I made a video right here. Uh, it's two, two days ago it, it was published. I made it three days ago or so. Um, but, um, you know, I made it and immediately got attacked. You know what that means when you make something and you immediately get attacked? It means you're doing something right. Uh, so what do you know about Lloyds of London and Ernst & Young? You're a scam, idiot, copyright violation with this video. Well, there's something called the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. It allows me to commentary on any video. As long as I provide color and commentary to it, I am allowed to do that. So, un unpermissioned use of copyrighted work in certain situations. This is that situation. Uh, and, you know, a couple days or so, here's where it starts to get interesting. You might go, hey, Rich, how do you know you had an impact? Well, because about 48 hours after this video went live, MLM uh, Grandma published this. And they took everything private. Now, is Richie stupid? No, 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 no. Richie ain't stupid. He downloaded everything before he released the first video. So here's what I want to talk about today. We've talked about Miracle Cash and more. We've talked about the rah, rah, rah. You're going to get rich. We showed two of those. But I want to show you the MLM marketing side of it which is called Boogie Gopher Club. We didn't talk about that that much last time. And I have a video that was sent to me. I've already made friends inside their community, keyword cult, that tells me all about Boogie Gopher Club. So I'm going to play you this. Uh, we're going to go over it. And we're going to talk about, okay, how are they making money? What are they asking for? What's the actual product? I think that's where it starts to get interesting. So uh, this is Boogie Gopher Club's YouTube channel as of right now. <laughs> used to have a lot more on it. only has... Two things, one about Las Vegas and one about, uh, well, let me, I just want to show you this. Uh, we talked about Miracle. I'm not going to play this whole thing. Well, come on. Just read the headline. Uh, Boogie Gopher Club featuring our parent company, Miracle Cash and More. So this is the recruitment arm for the Ponzi scheme that is Miracle Cash and More. And what I got my hands on, again, thank you to uh, Mikoshi Ovani and John Castino, formerly of the Tereth uh, crypto coin, T-E-R-E-T-H. Um, I've got my hands on something that kind of explains the pitch. So this video you're about to watch is the pitch. If you have a new investor, let's say you have someone you want to get into this, because the way the Ponzi scheme works is the old investors are only paid out when new money comes in. So if you have someone that you want to, as a new investor, pitch into this coin, pitch into this system, pitch into this community, uh, they have Boogie Gopher Club, and they're pitching Boogie Gopher Club specifically and how Boogie Gopher Club works. So I want to give you the pitch that you might get, and I want to go through that pitch, critique that pitch, tell you what's wrong with that pitch, point out the MLMs in that pitch, and everything of that sort. So let's go ahead. And let's watch. This is a video that someone sent to me. Uh, this was recorded on uh, October 5th, 2023, which was slightly before they um, became a public company through a shell company. Um, but it was recorded on October uh, 5th, 2023. So I want to go over this. I kind of want to show you what's going on here. I'm going to commentary on it. Again, this is protected under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act because I'm providing color, providing commentary, providing details, telling you what's going on. So you're going to see someone that you've actually seen. He was in the second video, Ed, uh, that was talking about that didn't give any financial disclaimers or anything. I am playing this in full. Uh, I called it Boogie Club Scam Pitch. Someone actually sent this video to me and said, hey, Ridge, what's going on here? So I want to share it with you. Um, this is what's going on. So here we go. So there's going to be a little bit of music and interlude and stuff like that. We're going to have a guy named Robert Fitzgerald. They're waiting for people to come in. I am going to fast forward a little bit because I don't want you sitting here forever. Companies, All right. speakers, and trainers. And so let's, let's nah, go to where nah, we nah. Here we go. You sure? La, 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 la. 
<laughs> hey, welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome to the 31K Blitz Calls. This is the third call of the day. Uh, let me uh, introduce our presenter. Uh, he's been mentored by some of the best uh, motivational speakers and trainers in the industry. Uh, he's been in network marketing direct sales for over 30 years. He's responsible for building teams of hundreds of thousands of people with multiple companies. He's a retired New York City firefighter, my friend and sponsor. Without further ado, Ed, take it away. My friend and sponsor. You're going to notice this is very specifically a multi-level marketing scheme. Why? Because if you want to get involved, you've got to have someone to help you get involved. Just listen to the words. Listen to what's going on here. I want to make this very, very clear. Thank you so much, Robert. Uh, greatly appreciate you and all those kind words. I want to welcome everybody here today. I might talk fast because I like to promise 20 minutes. Sometimes we go a little bit longer, but not much. Uh, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you coming out. If you're here for the first time and you're a guest, congratulations. Sit back, relax. Again, we'll keep it brief, baby. Be brief. But we're going to show you information that can change your perspective, possibly. Okay, now he's not going to give any disclaimers. He's not going to say not financial advice. This is the entire intro. I'm not blocking anything or doing anything like that. I am showing you the entire intro. Uh, we're at 242. Literally, all I've fast forwarded through is this. No one's saying anything. It's a background. I want to just play where we're from. I want to show you there's no manipulation or anything here. And if, if they want to fight me, they're welcome to post a link to this with the with all the disclaimers below. Possibly on what the future has for you. So uh, let's jump right into it. And uh, before we do, let me share with you my story real quick. Last year, in the month of July, I reconnected with an old friend of mine, Ray. And Ray said, Ed, can I get just... This is how they all start. This is how all these schemes, all these scams start. It's all a recruitment scam. He's literally going to describe the recruitment scam right now. I know it's crazy to think about that, but he's going to describe the scam and how he got into the scam. Five minutes to bring you up to speed on what we've been doing. And I said, sure. And in those five minutes, what he said to me caused me to say, Ray, if what you're saying is true, I'll jump on a plane tomorrow and come to Cyprus. See, the company's located in northern Cyprus. So what basically uh, got my attention in those five minutes was Ray said, Ed, we partnered with a store called Miracle Cash and More Company, and they're opening up stores, brick and mortar stores, like Apple stores, and it's bringing crypt. Yeah, so they're, they're all, all these guys are going to use Apple because Apple's their aspirational brand. A lot of people, they're going to use Apple. They're going to use religion. Uh, again, every crypto scammer I've dealt with has used those two things, Apple and religion, Apple and religion. That's it. So to the street, and as soon as he said that, a light bulb went off. Then he talked about financially how much we can make. And that's when I said, Ray, if what you're saying is true, I'll jump on a plane tomorrow. Within those next 24 hours, I got on two Zooms like this, texted Ray, said, Ray, my bags are packed. I'm ready to come. This is a this is a FOMO, fear of missing out. He's doing, Ed is doing these Zooms all day, trying to get people into his downline or people that are already in his downline, new people in their downline. Now, what is downline? Well, it's an MLM term that means as you get people below you, you make profits on it. Um, six days later, I was in Cyprus, and we haven't looked back ever since. The Boogie Gopher Club is brought to you by uh, Cashflow NFT, which is founded by Miracle Cash and More's uh, principal partner, no, none other than Mr. Micah Theard. Micah is a friend of mine, and he joined with Ray out there in the island of Cyprus, northern Cyprus, to help bring to market this incredible company opportunity that I believe. Opportunity. They're trying to sell you something. This is something that should be regulated. They're, they're pitching to Americans. You're going to hear this. This is something that should be regulated by the SEC. It's an ICO, an IPO, an initial coin offering or initial public offering. They're going through a shell company and this and that. But this is a way to get American investors, because American investors are still too dumb to realize. Uh, I, I love Bitcoin myself. Um, love it. But everything beyond Bitcoin and maybe Ethereum is kind of a scam. But let's go back to this. I believe is going to sweep the world is just in the beginning stages. Now, as I go through this, I'm going to ask you, try to read between the lines. It's certain. Yeah, because not financial advice. Try and read in between the lines. That's his way of saying not financial advice. Don't worry. He's still going to promise crazy shit. They don't want this out on the, the real Internet. 
because this is out in the real internet that's going to be used against them. So, hi, jury. Things we can't say, certain things we can't say, but there are some things that are happening um, behind the scenes. Uh, matter of fact, today was a historic day. There was some paperwork signed today, historic. And so uh, Micah did send out a message that we'll be doing uh, some type of update probably tomorrow and probably on uh, Saturday. So we're going to talk about the past, the present, and the future of Miracle Cash and more. Why now is the time. Now is the time. Remember, this is a FOMO, fear of missing out. They're trying to get new suckers in. The problem is the first video I did made them take down their whole YouTube channel. So any links someone sends from a previous one, um, they can't get to it. So it makes it a lot harder. you got to understand, the idea behind a Ponzi scheme is as soon as you start turning off the faucet, it makes it a lot harder to get new people in. So locking down their YouTube, locking down things like that, that paranoia that this guy with no pants is going to be there is going to make this thing fail so much quicker. And I think that's important to understand. All Ponzi schemes eventually fail. And what these crypto scammers are going to tell you is, oh, the U.S. dollar is a Ponzi scheme. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the dollar store went away because we gave too much money during COVID and it's going to go away further. Go to the dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five, two dollar store because we're giving too much money to Israel and Ukraine. Yes, but there's nothing behind this. I think that's the important thing to understand. Back in 2017, the company was founded. Hakan Torahan is the founder. He's the chief architect. Of so uh, Hakan Torahan. Um, if you just look up his name, you'll see that he was arrested for an online gambling scheme. Uh, I will post that in the comments below. I'm not going to pull up the uh, the article right now, but uh, just just Google Hakan Torhan and see if that's kind of the guy that you'd like to be doing digital business with. That's all I'm saying. Of everything you're going to see here, and uh, Hakan has a has a background in finance. He got started early stages of the ATMs when they were first rolled out. Got I've Googled that. I've not found anything about him being involved in ATMs when they were first rolled out. I just want to be very clear. The only thing I found about Hakan that's written in English, and I have had someone who speaks the native language look as well, but the only thing I found about Hakan that's written in English is uh, in Cyprus, he was arrested for an online gambling scheme. Involved with the company there, became their top salesperson, their top manager, had a team that put out over 90% of all the ATMs in the United Kingdom. Then he took that same- Oh, but now, now we're getting specific. You know, he was involved in how ATM started. Now we're, we're we're dwindling it down to a smaller spectrum of the ATM world. Same exact entrepreneurial spirit to Turkey. And in Turkey at the time, they had four different banks that were not connected, that all had their own systems. And he convinced them, the government, and the, the fact that he needed to build the the actual technology to accomplish it. But he did in a little more than a year's time. They installed ATMs all over Turkey. And simultaneously, he saw a need to revamp the credit bureau systems that were out there. And here in the United States, we're familiar with Equifax and TransUnion and Experian. So he created uh, a scoring system. Well-versed in finance, he took a look at the needs in the marketplace, and he said the blockchain is the solution. So back in – This is what they all say. 2017, with a legal background, he's a lawyer – he ended up saying, hey, first thing we got to do is make sure that we operate within the law, that we meet all of the regulations, all the requirements, get all the licenses that we need to get. And that's what we've been in the process of doing since 2017, simultaneously building the core systems that you're going to see now that are functional, they're operational, they're being used right now, and they're getting ready to be rolled. And what we're looking at is Photoshop. Again, this is as of uh, October 5th, 2023. So this is actually before the last video I put out. Rolled out all around the world. And then we have our retail stores and products that are just going to make sense to you. And we have a full marketplace of NFT and a host of other opportunities. By the time we're said and done, there's actually three unique and different uh, income possibilities here. What I call income producing assets. Yes. Um, uh, what, was that, what was that called? Oh, an asset backed security. You're pitching this to Americans. You're pitching an unregulated asset-backed security. Thanks, Ed. So let's jump right into it. Miracle again started 2017. 
No, we, we had two stores in Northern Cyprus. Then the third store was this store in Amsterdam. This is our first flagship store. And when you look at it, it looks really nice. The balloons look cool, the color scheme, the design, everything. When you go inside right there, that desk, it's called a smart desk. And it allows people to walk in off the streets and figure out what crypto. Does anybody see an ATM or anything like that? This is an exchange office. They've opened an exchange office and they're proud of that. Okay, cool. You're a regulated broker that can exchange crypto into other currencies. Cool. We didn't even see in the other one what the product was, but we're looking at what the product is. And trust me, we'll get in more interesting here. Crypto is how can I get involved? How can I open up a wallet? Can I put money in it? Can I buy Bitcoin? Can I buy Dogecoin? Can I buy Ripple? Can I buy whatever they want to do? And if they're a business, do you have the technology that I've been asking for? And that is the ability to accept cryptocurrency as a form of payment. See, there was a survey done by Deloitte, and it was featured in a CNBC article online that said again they're using big words big companies cnbc deloitte no one said anything about them. no one said anything about them they're using these big words to make you feel comfortable they're the ask for paperwork from deloitte and from them saying that this is legitimate they're using big words to make you feel comfortable i'm trying to break down this pitch uh, they surveyed over 2,000 retail executives and up to se almost 75% of them agreed they- And this has nothing to do with them. They believe they're gonna be accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment within the next- Cool, you've made an exchange office. Two years, guys, we're right at the precipice. We're in the beginning stages of a bull market and an absolutely explosion. With I agree with you, Ed. I agree with you 100%, but guess what we don't need? We don't need you. We don't need this scheme. If this were to go, the big boys, the banks, the, the investment firms, the coin bases of this world are going to do this themselves. This is a waste of money, and you're using investors' funds to do this. Where the world goes from fiat currency to digital currency, fiat currency to cryptocurrency, fiat currency to a way in which most people never even imagined possible. But you're going to see in this presentation uh, some of the things that have been done, and in, in most recently, in the last few months, that are really tremendous advances in the in the blockchain arena so we're opening up berlin cologne germany paris france london madrid barcelona brussels belgium they're all european countries that uh fit into the fact that the, the european parliament uh ended up the eu parliament but understand this is being pitched ed as an american citizen a lot of these people involved in this are american citizens even uh crypto crypto uh, ML, mlm grandma she's over in Pri cyprus right now she's an american citizen they've done events in miami they've done events in las vegas why because they're trying to get money from american citizens for something that's legal in the eu and they're doing that transactional function in crypto you should be very 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 afraid here um just let me see if i can find the hakan thing uh h-a-k-a-n Quran. i just want to show this uh, Hakan Toran, Hakan Toran. Okay, yeah. Um, hey, look, I have a buddy. His name is Oz, and he runs a website called Behind MLM. And yeah, these guys have been doing this for a while. You've got Oscar. You've got you. You've got these people that are involved in these things that have have been around. This is Micah. Hey, look, Micah is the founder of uh of Boogie Gopher Club. He's had issues with other things in the past. Hey, look, there's Micah and there's Hakan. Hey, look. Hey, look. Now, I've sent Oz this video so he can do a little write-up for those of you that don't want to watch a video. Uh, they're just making all this up. It all looks kind of pretty. But, um, yeah, you know, we if we look at uh, if we look at Hakan, let me just see if I can find it. Uh, Hakan was arrested in 2017 in collection with an illegal gambling ring. Is this the kind of person that you want running an investment that you're in? I think that's important. Um, you know, do you want police arrest six in online gambling crackdown? Six men accused of being, let me show you if I can get the, the picture to refresh. This, uh, this is from Cyprus. This is a press reader from Cyprus. And we've got Hakan in there. You can Google Hakan, the men name. Okay. 
Six men were accused of being behind an illegal online gambling and for uh, illegal online gambling operation remained in custody. A uh, string of suspects to be arrested as part of the police crackdown. They all appeared before the district court on Monday. Two men were named as Nurdur Porla and Hakan Toran. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the, all the links to this below so you can kind of see these. But this is kind of what you're dealing with here. These are the people that are, are looking out for your best investment uh, Best investments. Let's continue. Passing a set of laws that are the regulations for all the countries that are part of the EU. And we have the licenses. So that's where we're starting. We're getting ready to, right now, preparation is being made to open up Japan. We have Southeast Asia. We have America. Preparation is being made. I guarantee you preparation is not being made for America because America is never going to let this shit slide. They're, they're, they're buying a shell company. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm spoiling my other video. They're buying a shell company or a SPAC, a level two SPAC, special pur purpose acquisition company, and they think they're going to go on the market and this is going to explode. It's not worth anything, especially with Hakan's name attached. Just Google it. Need to be doing business here very soon and also in Latin America. This is uh, Melanie Anderson. She's our, our chief operator. American citizen. Head, hanging out in Cyprus. We saw that's what we opened with. And she's the one who made everything private. Too bad, Melanie. I already have it all. Operations officer, and that's Ray Video, VP of Sales. Ray's the friend that I was talking about before. And that's one of our stores in Northern Cyprus. Here's another one of our stores that just recently. There's Hakan right there. Hakan, the uh, illegal gambling man. Opened up in Northern Cyprus. They're all beautiful, state of the art, top of the line. It's one of the things I love about Hakan Torahan. He does everything. Make sure, please, if you're thinking about investing, stay tuned, because this is about to take a wild turn. Top of the line. This is our store in uh, Berlin that we're opening up this month. It's the biggest of its kind. Uh, again, it's, it's just an absolute gorgeous, unbelievable sight. And it's on one of the most um, the most exciting streets for retail in all, all of Berlin. Every one of our stores, including the one in Amsterdam, are on streets that are like Rodeo Drive. And so we're really... Uh, and as an investor, your money is paying for that. Isn't that important to understand? I think that's important to understand. We're really a high-end look and feel, yet a very practical way that people could do everything they want to do with crypto. The expansion, again, is happening primarily in the beginning stages. Yeah, so there's, there's one physical store you're seeing here. Let me turn off myself. There's one physical store you're seeing here. Render, render. Render, render, all fake. Actually, no, that, that one might not be a render, but I mean, majority of that is a render. In Europe, you can see the look and feel. When we go when we go into a country, we do television advertisement, radio advertisement, social media advertisement. Why are they advertising crypto on the radio? And we also do billboard advertisement. So um, here's one of the first deals. So this is so confusing. They're going to try and make you think that Vodafone is involved, but it's really a guy who just owns 4,000 telephone stores that happen to sell Vodafone, and they've probably got him in at a very low price and said, you've got to help grow this, and then you're going to make a lot of money in the end. Wait until you hear this craziness of uh, financing via this, uh, POS merchant terminals. This is all just crazy white paper shit. Uh, what a white paper is, for those of you who are looking, that's a plan that a crypto company has that generally doesn't come to fruition because usually the funds dry up long before they can get to everything on their white paper. But I digress. Bills that we got, and we're going to talk a little bit about Germany. So hang in there with me, the power of Germany. There's 4,000 GSM stores that have contracted with us. There's, there's one central owner of all these stores. It's not Vodafone. Now, they're putting Vodafone on the screen to trick you. It's not Vodafone. And the, G the GSM stores are licensed to bring Vodafone to the marketplace. And Vodafone... But they're not Vodafone. It's stores that are licensed to sell Vodafone. So that's like saying, you know, we went to Best Buy, who can sell Apple phones, and, you know, now we're together with Apple. No. No. Phone is the top cell phone uh, producer in all of Europe and in all of Africa. And when they looked at our, our what we call delivery channels, our, our some people might, might, might call them verticals. Um, I just call it <laughs> common sense. If you're going to accept crypto, you need all these things. And nobody has it. We are the first to market with technology. You're not to market yet. Breakthrough products. They saw it. 
So let's just go over four of them. The first one, Miracle Installments, is the one that first got them excited. And you can see there in the yellow print, it says, buy a phone on payment plan with Miracle Installments. That basically summarized it. We're the first company to be able to offer the ability for people to get an advancement on on cryptocurrency, our miracle token. Our mur- Their token. So what they're doing is they are using an asset-backed security as collateral. That's what's going on. I kind of, if you're a finance guy, that's exactly what's going on. You're trying to use an asset-backed security as collateral on a loan instead of having to use a specific credit score. And you notice he said, like, 10 minutes ago, that Hakan invented something beyond what the credit bureaus did. But he's not going to go into any detail on it. Miracle coin, excuse me. A miracle coin is a stable coin. A stable coin is worth a dollar. It's pegged to the U.S. dollar. Why isn't it pegged to the euro? This is a European company. Why are we pegging it to the U.S. dollar? I think that's interesting. They might say, well, this, this dollar is the world reserve currency. Or because they're trying to attract American investors to a European business. And uh, that's, that, that is one of our products. So when somebody goes into a store, and let's say in this store they see an iPhone that they like, and it's $1,000, $1,200, $1, $1,400. They really don't have the money. They'd love to get it, but they can't. But they could, if they wish, get scored. And if their score is good enough, they could get up to $2,500. So they're trying to become a credit agency. But you're going to have to have assets to have that score. So they're probably going to they're going to tell you. This is my assumption. A little, little bit of reading. They're basically going to allow you to borrow against the assets in your crypto wallet. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. They want to take on that risk themselves. It's good. But don't talk about it being revolutionary. That's all it is. Dollars worth of Miracle Coin, and then they can make their monthly payments to Miracle. That is the big Kahuna for this group of GSM stores. But the also they want the, the point of sale terminals in every single store where they could accept crypto as a form of payment. They want AT. So there's just a it's just a credit card reader that has a crypto barcode on. TMs in a. Lot- a QR code. A lot of their stores. They also want access to the Miracle Exchange where their customers could buy, sell, and trade crypto right there in their... There's this thing called Coinbase. Actually, I prefer personally to use Robinhood. Uh, I use Robinhood for all my crypto trades. And then, you know, once a month or so, I'll pull off the stuff I want to keep and put it on my ledger. The GSM store. And so they expect, the owners are so excited, they expect to increase their bottom line by over 100% just using these four verticals that come from Miracle Cash and more. So we have the stores, we have the point of sale terminals. The point of sale terminals house up to a thousand different cryptocurrencies. So whether we're talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. Again, that's 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 Photoshop. That's Photoshop. That's what all this is. I've not seen any of these physically existing. All I see, all I see in real life. There's an iPad with the website right there. That's real life. That's fake. That's fake. That's fake. That's fake. Well, Doge Maybe coin, exchange, engine coin, whatever the coin is, if it's one of the top thousand, it's available and people could use it to make purchases on whatever items they want. The ATMs, when you when you think about it, let's go back to episode. Oh, I, I get so excited about this point of sale terminal. When you look back at that GSM store, how many stores, how many chain stores out there do you think would want these products if they knew about them? They're going to hear about them. They're going to want them. And Miracle is the company that owns the technology. We own the proprietary software. Everything is built inside of our ecosystem and stores just like the GSM. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. They don't have anything. Stores in Germany, that's just the beginning. We're going to go all around the world. See, he's making a statement right now that is a financial statement. Listen very closely. He told you you have to read in between the lines. Let's see if you're reading in between the lines here. Let me back up just a little bit. Miracle is the company that owns the technology. We own the proprietary software. Everything is built inside of our ecosystem. And stores just like the GSM stores in Germany, that's just the beginning. We're going to go all around the world with this model. And we have the ATMs also up to a 1,000 coins. But these are two-way ATMs, meaning you could put your credit card in or you could put cash in and buy crypto. Or you could go in, access your crypto and get pull out um fiat currency uh, sounds fantastic i have no problem with that i'd love that i am a bitcoin guy i'd love that but that's not the main thing they're selling here i want you to keep watching this video i know we're half an hour in 
but you, I'm trying to show you the whole stack. I'm trying to show you everything. So please keep watching, especially if you're thinking about investing. Of that country of where you're at. And then we, of course, have the B2B enterprise piece that combines both the, the customer and the business where uh, businesses can be involved with actually using all these delivery channels and products. So what it looks like is this one big, uh, one big ecosystem. One big ecosystem. Again, trying to call out Apple, trying to say they're similar to Apple. You know, Apple's got iMessage, got the App Store, got everything. Uh, you know, if we talk about these, I'll explain to you what's in this ecosystem. Fintech services like a Robinhood, blockchain services like a Coinbase or a MetaMask, regulatory services to get in with governments, KYB, know your business, KYC, know your customers, point of sale, web services, crypto ATM. There's so much here. If it was only real. Housed in the center, that's kind of like a banking core where we own the switch. When uh, Hockey was first starting out, of course, he could have went third party. The largest data processor for merchant services like this, a company called First Data. Look them up, First Data, the number one in the world. They they do this, a, a, a large piece of all of the, the, the usage that we make here in the United States and throughout the world using MasterCard, Visa, and American Express get processed through First Data. So Hawkins said, why bring in a third party who's going to take a cut? Why not just build our own? And that's what we did. Everything you see here is proprietary to Miracle Cash and More, built by Miracle Cash and More. And so when you end up looking at this and the, the possibilities of, uh, of getting involved in any form or fashion, what you have is you have a rock solid company that really- A rock solid company that's still trying to raise money into their shit coin. But we're halfway through this right now. Let us continue. Lee is doing something so unique, yet it owns it all itself. So that's uh, that's what we have in the eco. That's the Apple positioning. Again, here's where the turn. They're pitching. You've seen the product so far. On on paper, on paper, if I could invest in this product, I might. But let's talk about how they're actually going to raise money and make money. And I think that's where this turn comes. We're about halfway in. Ed's getting a little timer alert, saying it's time to do the pitch. How does somebody get involved? Ecosystem, and we go around, you know, clockwise. Web services crypto ATMs, reward systems, fintech services, blockchain services, revolutionary uh, regulatory services, KYB, KYC, point of sale, all housed on the one roof, and that is Miracle Cash and more. So when you think about us, what are we doing? Are we, are we, are we getting recognized? Do people see us? Wow. Dubai. Let's talk about Dubai for a minute. Dubai, UAE are one of the only countries in the world where you cannot get extradited for financial crime. Daisy was there. A lot of other big scam coins were based there. Um, yeah, that's why they're in Dubai. You can pay to speak at any of these Dubai crypto events. You're not invited. You can pay. Uh, there, hey, look, there's Micah. Micah, hey, look, let, let, let's, let's look at a little bit of what Micah's done in the past. Oh, look, there's Micah. They reside in Cyprus. Oh, look, Micah is a U.S. national, been promoting MLM scans for years. One coin, Flexcom. Micah was arrested. Uh, no, the Hakan was arrested. Look, these are, these are nice. Reinvented himself as a crypto bro in 2001 with Miracle Cash and more. This is the scam that you're watching right now. Boogie Gopher Club is Micah's latest scam. Google these people. You'll understand a lot. Is this really as special as we say it is? Well, in Dubai, five years in a row now, they do the Dubai Crypto Expo. We just had this year the fifth one, largest of its kind. And one of the keynote speakers was none other than Micah Thad, the founder of the Boogie Gopher Club and Cash Flow NFT and a principal partner in Miracle Cash and more. And we came away with the most innovative blockchain of the year award, uh, Miracle Cash and, and more. So these... Yeah, yeah, this is the most innovative black share of the year award. So there's a word you can buy. Now, here's what they're going to do now. You're getting into the sales part. They're trying to tell you that this is important. We're done pitching our product, right? Boogie Gopher Club and Miracle Cash and More are done pitching their product. Now we're going to talk about BlackRock, Fidelity, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, and Vesco. Now, today is, uh, it's important what today is. Today is October 24th, 2023. That's when this video should come out as well. And Bitcoin is on a tear. Does that mean their shitcoin is on a tear? No, Bitcoin's on a tear because there is finally a Bitcoin ETF. But Bitcoin's on a tear up, and it's a good thing. These names and these, these. 
but these have nothing to do with them. That's important. This is a bullshit marketing slide. These logos you're probably familiar with. BlackRock, Fidelity, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, BNY, Mellon, Invesco, Bank of America. These companies combined have over 24 trillion assets under management. And when you look at what they've already done, what they're in the process of doing, they're all getting positioned for this massive humanity that's coming into the crypto space. I hope you got that. A mass of humanity is coming into the crypto space. Yeah, but not your shit stuff. Right now, there's only hundreds of millions of people that are in the crypto space. The experts believe that before this decade is out, there will be billions. So this is the pitch. This is the pitch. That's gonna, he's going to start asking you for money. He's described the business, and this is, this is where they start asking you for money. Just watch. And trust me, they're going to get to the, get back to the person who brought you here, because that's classic multi-level marketing, pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme tactic. It's coming. I'm going to let Ed say it. And some believe we'll, we'll have 5 billion people, just like I remember when Facebook first acquired a billion customers. Then I look at the smartphone. Again, they're, they're trying to talk about bigger companies, and they're trying to, this is, if, if you were, if this was pitching as a real company, a real IPO in the U.S. Not not what they're doing just with a SPAC and buying a shell company and this like that. You couldn't make these statements comparing it to these other companies and saying, oh, you're in the infancy like these companies because the Securities Exchange Commission doesn't let you. That's why this video is not public. And trust me, I have plenty more where this came from that people have actually sent me. So, yeah, watch out. Which got started by Apple. Apple uh, was the first... And still today, they are the biggest, right? They were first to market the smartphone, this computer in your hand. And I'm not sure about that. There's this thing. It went into your palm. What's that called? Like it flew a plane. Went, oh, a palm pilot. Ed forgot about the palm pilot. When you look at the size and scope uh, of the marketplace and you look at the time frame involved, guess what? Who's number one? Apple. Apple is still number one. So Oh, Ed, let me look that up. I'm not 100% sure. So based on what we're doing, the specialty that we have, we believe we could capture major market share all over the world and become the brand name that everybody associates with everything crypto. BlackRock filed for a BTF, which is called a spot BTF with the SEC. All the experts agree it's going through. Whether it happens this week, next week, this month, next month, this quarter, next quarter, it's I mean, technically, Apple's leading the pack as of July 2023, but it goes between Apple and Samsung. Happening. And when it does, the institutions are coming on board. They're waiting for that. But this has nothing to do with you and your coin. Now, you're about to get pitched to buy a to buy a franchise in their market or to buy their crap coin. You'll see it. Spot BTF, ETF, to, to start investing endowments. Major, major institutions are coming in the space and getting ready to put trillions of dollars into this space. Morgan Stanley, access to three uh, Bitcoin funds. Fidelity offers- Again, they're talking about Bitcoin. They're not talking about their coin. Bitcoin trading custody and filed for a B Bitcoin ETF. In addition to that, I have Fidelity accounts. They created Fidelity digital assets. So if you have a Fidelity brokerage account, you can now buy Bitcoin and Ethereum through Fidelity. Goldman Sachs. OTC Bitcoin trading, BNY Mellon, hold and transfer Bitcoin, Invesco, Bitcoin ETFs in Europe, file for a Bitcoin ETF in the US, Bank of America, Bitcoin futures. That's nothing to do with them. Trading. Most people don't have a clue as to what's going on and who who's the first to move? The big players, the big Wall Street firms. That's what you're looking at here. If you want to see where the future's going. Again, this is FOMO. They're trying to pitch you to sell you something. We've got 10 minutes left in this video, a little more than 10 minutes, and here comes the pitch. You have what you had is you had, here's how these are all structured. They're going to give you the white paper of the company, what the company wants to do. We saw that maybe 20% of what they wanted to do is done, and it's funded by the existing investor's money. Then they're going to tell you the market's big, the market's getting bigger, the market's getting biggest. And the third part, which we're about to enter into, first 10 minutes were what they're doing. Second one is, oh, let's build up the market. Let's talk about that. And the third part is the actual sell. And Ed, I feel bad for him. He sits on calls all day doing this. You'll hear at the end. But, but we're getting close to the pitch. Look and see what they're doing. What are they doing? They're positioning themselves in front of the masses. The secret, if you want to call it a secret, is to get involved before the whole world knows about it and position yourself in front of the masses before the masses react. So when you talk about a company and the value of a company, there are ways to value a company. And what
Look, look at this. It's it's a, a PNG image they didn't even remove the background from. <laughs> what professional graphic designers they are there. Uh, I have relatives who used to work for EY. Um, they haven't touched this. I've called them. One of them is called the DCF, a discounted cash flow analysis. A discounted cash flow analysis has been done on numerous countries uh, that we are in on our company. And uh, one of the, the actual professor that created our DCF, a discount, uh, our... Listen very carefully to this. This is very interestingly worded. EY did not come up with their discounted cash flows. They just said, yeah, they exist. EY is a consulting firm. Just listen, 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 listen. This is called the DCF, a discounted cash flow analysis. A discounted cash flow analysis has been done on numerous countries uh, that we are in on our company. And uh, one of the, the actual professor that created our DCF, a discount, uh, our, our discounted cash flow analysis, um, a D DCFs, he actually works uh, hand in hand at times with Ernst and Young. And so hand in hand at times. So he just had someone at Ernst and Young take a look. So Ernst and Young has looked at our DCFs and has validated uh, the first one of its kind. In what does that mean, Ed? Go in more. What what Ed's trying to do is he's trying to take a big company and say this this big company which you've heard of you've you've seen on billboards I was in Poland I saw it up on a on a building uh, this company says it's safe. No one's gonna touch this with a ten foot pole of Torah of Akan Toran is involved in Germany and the numbers are staggering, three point eight billion in Germany that's the valuation of Miracle Cash and more in Germany validated again and signed by Ernst and Young. Benelux, that's Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. See, the valuation was not done by Ernst & Young. It was done by a top professor from a leading economic school, and then currently signed by Ernst & Young to the fact that the professor said it was what he believed it was. Ernst & Young didn't do the valuation, be very clear. Combined, 1.55 billion. UK, 3.16 billion. Now, I know if you're looking at this for the first time, this might not mean anything to you just yet, but it but it will in the very near future. There are a lot of people that are on this Zoom right now that own pieces of what I just showed you, and they are ecstatic. Yeah, because you're trying to make them ecstatic. But you got to read between the lines, Ed. You can't say this out loud. You said this earlier that you can't say these things out loud, and you got to read between the lines. So read between the lines, Ed. And there is a windfall coming in the very <sighs> near future. Germany, Spain, France, Benelux all sold out. But you can get into the UK and Italy. We're going to show you that. But Oh, look, now we're going to compare ourselves to Coinbase. We have nothing to do with Coinbase, but we're going to say you could have gotten into Coinbase for next to nothing. And you could have been you could have made a fortune, but you didn't do that. So now you're going to get into our every shit coin does this. Every shit coin with the white paper does this. And that's why you shouldn't trust any of them. I like Bitcoin a lot. 95% of the crypto I own is Bitcoin. I like Ethereum a little bit like. 3% is Ethereum, and I like Dogecoin. So I'm like 95% Bitcoin, 3% Ethereum, 2% Dogecoin, a little bit of shitcoin here, there, and the other. Watch what happens with valuations. Valuations are made based on a company going public or based on a company getting ready. They're, they're doing, Ed's going to talk about this. We already know about this. They have a shell company that is uh, being run by, oh God, I'll show you her picture. Uh, I got to find it. Uh, here, I'll, I'll let it talk while I find her picture. To sell or merger or an acquisition. There's a lot of reasons why a company gets a valuation. And there are several different ways to do a valuation. Discounted cash flow analysis is just one of them. Look what happened to Coinbase, the cryptocurrency exchange. When it. Yeah, so this, this is being run by this woman who doesn't have a degree in finance whatsoever. Um, yeah, and this happened uh, 12 days after this video. Ibru Torhan. Okay, guys. What it's a valuation, uh, the day in which they, the actual day that it went public on the NASDAQ, the valuation went over $100 billion. Prior to that, it had been as low as $150 million. $150 million and then hundred. So you're going to 10x your money. Hmm. Someone, someone says 10x a lot. I don't know if you know who's... Big fan of 10x. We'll have to see that. Billion dollars when it when it went on the Nasdaq. That's a clue. Just uh, just 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 chewing that a little bit. 
Uh, that's an amazing statistic. And I remember back in 2021 when it happened. Matter of fact, I bought some. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, Coinbase is going public. I'm getting in on that. And uh, you know, you, there, there, there's opportunity uh, all the time. There's always opportunity. So what do we have? We have Italy. Ah, so here is the pitch. This is what you have to actually buy. And the 10X guy is Grant Cardell. Let's not even go there. Um, so this is what's left. It's a asset-backed security, or as they call it, an NFT with real assets that pay you, also known as an asset-backed security. That's why this is not being sold directly in the U.S., but it is being sold in the U.S. For just $1,000, you can get a share bundle. You can get a 5,000 uh K share bundle, 10K, 20K, 50K. And what we do is along with those possibilities of owning a piece of a country, you also could buy our Phoenix token. Our Phoenix token is a utility token. And the Phoenix token actually is what's known as the gas. If you're familiar. This is the scam. Here we go. You know, if you don't want to pay 10,000, you could get in for far less by buying this coin. And you know, Remember, a, a, a Ponzi scheme, the definition of a Ponzi scheme is newer investors that come in help pay out older investors. That's what a pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme, that's what they all are. I want you to watch these next few slides very closely, and we're going to talk about it. I'll you with cryptocurrency, whenever you make a purchase, you buy, sell, trade crypto, whenever you use crypto for anything, there are fees involved, the transaction fees. And the Phoenix token is our way of paying the fan the 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 the, uh, the transactions fees in, within our our network and so the phoenix token uh is something that when i first heard about it i got pretty excited about it and in order to validate the transactions there's something called a node and the nodes are for sale so if you look at node projects look at the history of node projects most node projects have failed recently because guess what they're ponzi schemes the money comes from nowhere remember if there's not new money coming in Old investors can't cash out. It's the way the world works, the way the stock market works. You can argue with me all you want, but like Instacart came out about a month ago. I did something on Instacart. The P it, it, It's right. Uh, I-N-S-T-A-C-A-R-T. Yeah, Maple Bear. Instacart came out about a month ago, and uh, that's how Instacart's doing. Why? Because when it went public and you got new sucker investors, the old investors could cash out. Yeah, and the nose produce income. We're going to show you that momentarily, but on every single transaction that happens in the Miracle Network, Phoenix token gets used and <laughs> nodes validate the transaction. So what Sorry. did what do Phoenix? Sorry, let me let me back up. I'm, I wasn't on that screen. Involved, I'll let him talk. Transaction again. fees and the Phoenix token is our way of paying the fan the 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 the, uh, the transactions fees in, within our our network, and so the Phoenix token. Uh, is something that when I first heard about it, I got pretty excited about it. And in order to validate the transactions, there's something called a node. And the nodes are for sale and the nodes produce income. We're going to show you that momentarily. But on every single transaction that happens in the Miracle Network, Phoenix... Remember, we got the first pitch so far is you can buy parts of countries, uh, basically buy a digital franchise. The second part, we haven't gotten to the sales yet, but you, you'll see. The second part is buying tokens and buying nodes. The token gets used, and <laughs> nodes validate the transaction. So what did what do Phoenix? Ah, the greatest utility token ever created. This builds an actual pyramid. So you see round one. I'm going to talk about this before he even does. Round one. Let's just let's let's cut the bullshit. Uh, you got into round one for a penny. I don't want to talk about zero 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 one. Round two costs five pennies. Round three is going to cost 10 pennies and around four is going to cost 100 pennies again their, their whole goal of shit coins is to eventually get to pennies uh and it's to use big numbers to confuse the absolute hell out of you um round one's already closed so the people that are currently investing in round two are investing five times higher than round one and in investing five times higher than round one these are new suckers coming into a ponzi scheme to pay off the initial investors in round one that's what's going on. Then round three, you're going two times higher than, it's actually a really dumb structure. Uh, you're going two times higher than round two. And then round four is going 10 times higher than round three. This is describing a Ponzi scam. There is no reliable product. They're talking about transactional capacity, utility, token. 
Nobody wants their miracle crap. Yeah, if they're gonna be if they're gonna be a broker and they're gonna sell Bitcoin at a reasonable exchange in Europe, I got no problem with it. When you start adding this shit in, this is why I have a problem. Tokens go for right now. Well, we started out round one back in July. It sold out and it came in at a hundredth of a penny. Round two is at five hundredths of a penny. It's currently available if you want to buy Phoenix token. Round three, we're not one hundred percent sure what it will be, but if it because we got to get more people in, that's how you keep the Ponzi alive. You can't get round three going until you fill in round two to pay back the people who got in at round one. And I guarantee you, Ed is one of the people who got in at round one. Was uh, if it, if it does go up to a tenth of a penny, that's pretty cool. If it does, <laughs> and that's coming pretty soon. And then where does it go from there? It goes in multiple exchanges, goes on the market, goes global, and we believe it's possible that it'll be a penny. Then you just do... We believe it's possible that it'll be a penny. Anything's possible. Pigs can fly. But um, he said read between the lines. And why are you saying this out loud? You're supposed to read between the lines, Ed. Do the math. Now, some of you are familiar, and some of you are not, but Binance is the largest cryptocurrency. So now, again, this is another FOMO. They're trying to say... You got left behind in Binance when they were doing this, and this is the greatest transactional utility token ever. Don't give me not financial advice for you between the lines. This is something they don't want public. I'm going to get takedown requests for this, but I'm not playing it in its... Uh, I'm playing it in its entirety, so I'm not misrepresenting it, and I'm just adding color. This is covered by the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. I will continue to get these because I have so many people on the inside, and I will continue to publish them. And I will give you updates on everything because that's how you stop this. The exchange in the world, they decided to create their own utility coin is called a BNB. It first started out in the pennies. Then it went up to the, 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 the dollars. Then it went up into the tens of dollars. Then it went up into the hundreds of dollars. Again, he's trying to pitch you on something completely unrelated to sell you on their shit. Point. It went as high as over $600 right now. It's standing in the low $200 range. You could have bought it for pennies. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. Yeah, that's all he's saying. Read between the lines. Saying anything other than I believe that this token is the greatest transactional capacity utility token ever created. But he was just implying something and then he said it out loud. Ed, Terra Nova, you're not that smart, are you? So if you want some Phoenix token, $2 million is $1,000, $11 million is $5,000 and two, 22 million is $10,000. And then there's our nodes. Our nodes validate the transactions and our nodes are one-time. And nodes, I, thank you, Oz, Oz from uh, Behind MLM. This is called a click a button Ponzi scheme. Purchase, get $2,000 each right now. And every single day that you press a button and the nodes go to work, so long as it's, it's, it's in operation for 25 minutes, cha-ching, you get paid. And it pays in Phoenix token. So I'm not, I don't understand it all just yet. All I know is he, he doesn't understand it all. What the fuck? He's trying to pitch this to people and he doesn't understand it all. Uh, this is a finance channel originally that I went to travel and a drinking channel, but uh, I got to go back to the roots and bust these people because it's just fun. Is this one node pays daily. So if you have a node, you're going to make money. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to get. Whoa. If you have a node, you're going to make money. Hey, cool, Ed. Started where it's going to get started, but I, I did see some, you know, some people that are experienced with nodes, and uh, they're very excited about this. As a matter of fact, I heard about this that we were getting ready to do this from a group of people that were very familiar with nodes, and I knew nothing. And all they kept doing, all they wanted to hear about was the nodes. Now I know why. <laughs> you know, I looked at it. I said, okay, if I could get a node that produces $100 a day. Now, I don't know if it's going to do that. I'm not promising. Oh, he's not promising. But you, what, what the hell, Ed? You just said click a button as long as it says 25, you, you make money. Ed, come on. You said you're going to make money, Ed. Maybe Ed's going to extrapolate this out until you can be a millionaire real quick. Anybody, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thinking out of the box. I said to myself, I said, Ed, <laughs> if there's a node you could get where you're going to make 100 bucks. At one time in my life, I was a substitute teacher, and that's what I got paid, $100 a day. So uh, if I could get a node and it just by pressing... So what they're saying is by pressing a button, I want to, I want to, he's saying by spending $2,000 and by pressing a button, you will get your return on investment in 20 days and it's just profit from there because you're getting $100 a day. That doesn't sound unrealistic.
the button and, and, and letting it run for 25 minutes, I can make a hundred bucks. I'm in. Then I said, well, if I can make a hundred bucks on one node, how much would I make on 10 nodes? That's a thousand dollars. Thousand dollar days are pretty good days. So I'm not promising anything. I'm just, I'm just thinking off the top. Yeah, but you're pitching. This is your pitch to investors. Of course you're promising something. You're putting ideas in their head. That's what this is. This is a sales pitch. This was sent to me by someone who was sold this crap. My head and, and, and talking, you know, but uh, we have this proof of transaction by the nodes. We have our transactional token, our utility token in Phoenix. And if you want to get share bundles, these, this is all that's available. This is all that's left. Act quick, act quick, act fast. Everything else is sold out. It, so far as the United Kingdom goes, for $10,000, you get a share bundle. And it comes. They only have 300,000 worth to sell left. Only 300,000 worth to sell. Uh, and I mean, look, $10,000. I'm sorry. Numbers, they, they, they like to keep numbers real big. I think I could do that one easy. 10,000 times 30. Now that's $300,000. Ta da. But let's look at Italy. 3 million Phoenix token. There's only about 30 of those left. In Italy, uh, you can get them as little. In Italy, <laughs> we're only raising $14 million. As little as $1,000 a bundle or more. You can get 5, 10, 20, 50. And there's only about 14,000 of these left. I believe these are going to sell out pretty rapidly. My understanding is. Oh, you believe that? Thank you, Ed, for giving your financial advice. You're supposed to read between the lines, Ed. Didn't you get that? There's, there's some pr pretty big buyers that are looking at us that might just buy the whole of everything that's left. So again, this is the FOMO. This is the fear of missing out. I want you to see this because I'm, I'm, this is the anatomy of this scam. You know, so goes the leader, so goes the pack. Make a move. You don't want it. You don't want to slow down. Get, get involved. Get started. Get back with the person who brought you here for free. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did you hear what Ed said? He said, get back with the person who brought you here. Why? Well, because it's a pyramid, of course. We've already talked about the Ponzi, with the, each level of the coin being worth more to pay off the investors that have already invested. But we got to have a pyramid. you got to have a referral program. you got to have all that. So... Let's get to the pyramid aspect. Thank you for uh, introducing that, Ed. Free, you become an affiliate. Doesn't cost you anything. This is not direct sales network marketing. They're on. Of course it is. I've done the background on all these people, and you know where they all came from? Direct sales network marketing. Melanie, Ed, um, Hakan was doing all kinds of other crimes. Let's not go there. Uh, Melanie, Ed, Hakan, um, Micah, the, the the gopher fucker. Um, they've all been in MLMs for years. Even before crypto, direct selling, MLM, pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme, whatever you want to call it. Call it Tupperware if you want to, or Avon. But that's all this is. There are no personal volume requirements. There are no monthly order ships. There, there, there's nothing here to become an no, Because there's no product. Because there's no product. There's no fucking product. It's an imaginary coin. There's no auto ships or that because there's no product. Affiliate make money with us. Come in, become an affiliate, and then get educated. Find out what we're doing. Plug into these Zooms. Plug into our trainings. Have you found out what they're doing? I think you have. I know in the next two days, you want to hear what Micah, what Micah Theard has to say tomorrow. That's the shell company. That's what he's he's alluding to the shell company that we talked about the last time with uh, with our girl who doesn't have any kind of business degree whatsoever, Miss uh, Ibru Torhan, um, who's the CEO of the shell company. They bought a company, they put it inside of a shell company, and they think they're going to list it on the U.S. stock market and make money. And you see these shares you're buying right now? They're telling people that these shares that you're buying right now are eventually going to go to shares of that company, and they're just going to go up because guess what? Only go up. Only go up. Never go down. Only go up. I'm not sure of the time yet. You'll, you'll be on the lookout for it, but you want to hear about that, and you want to hear about what's going on on Saturday. I'm hearing things behind the scenes of stuff that... He's trying. He's he's literally giving illegal insider information to people right now. That's why they don't want this public. Again, I'm taking my thing off. Uh, this is a Zoom call from October fifth, twenty twenty three. At uh, I Ed sounds like he's in the U S. So probably at six o'clock at night. Um, so yeah, that's happening. You want to hear about them? Real exciting things are happening. And when we share, uh oh, you got ten on the first level in your referral. You got four on the second level. You got three on the third level of your referral. You know, this, this is how it's structured. I don't know if any of you know what to call that. I mean, there's some of them in Egypt. 
don't know if they're girls. I'm sorry. It's slipping my mind. Share this with others. We make 10% on level one, 4% on level two, and uh, 3% on level three. And that has to do with both the share bundles and the miracle nodes. When you refer people to what we're doing, if they want to buy some Phoenix token, that also uh, has a referral. There's there's nothing. This is this is this is not shaped like where they held the pharaohs or anything like that. No, no way, no way is this a pyramid scheme. No way have you just been pitched a pyramid scheme for the last twenty six minutes. Oh, um, reward there, and on a Phoenix token, it's five percent, two percent. And 4% on levels 1, 2, and 3. And real-time commission. God, guys, guys, this is not an MLM. It's not a Ponzi. It's not a pyramid scheme. It just looks like one. Remember, if it looks like a pyramid scheme, it smells like a pyramid scheme, it acts like a pyramid scheme, there's no way in hell it's a pyramid scheme. No way. To, to make it even, you had the commercials go. But wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah! Yes, Ed. Yes, I love you, Ed, so much. You're feeding this perfectly. But wait, there's more. Because that's how you always pitch a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> but wait, there's more. There's real-time commissions. You you get somebody who makes a purchase, cha-ching, you get paid in real time. Ed is you get paid, but you don't have to sell it. You, you don't have to sell it. You don't have to sell it. That's not what this is. It's amazing. Absolutely. So when I got back from... from uh, Cyprus, the first time I spoke to my friend Steve, and and he said, "Tell me what's going on." He heard about it. I told him about it. I said, "Steve, this is real. I mean, they got they got real licensing to do this business. They got real retail stores. They got real point of sale terminals, real ATMs, real exchanges, real NFT uh, programs." And so, guys, yeah, sure, they can have all that. But what you've just watched is the pitch for a Ponzi scheme. Their coin, they are they have no licenses to hold on. They have no licenses to run their own coin. They have no licenses to solicit investors. They have none of those licenses. Yes, they have a license for a retail store. Bring myself back. Yes, they've got a license for point of sale terminal. ATMs. Exchange. NFTs. But do they have a license to be selling this? To American citizens to be selling this to citizens of the non-EU to be selling it as an investment opportunity because that's what's being sold as and here's what I'm doing I'm putting it out in the open I want to let this play out and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end guys what we have is amazing we got to promote the oh my god it's the FOMO promo or we talked about FOMO it's the FOMO promo your fear of missing out it's gonna make you miss out so we need the red octave wait Red October has some meaning to it. Uh, red. Red October. Oh, wait. It's like a. What was Red October? Submarine was given a new typhoon ballistic missile, rendering it un. Okay. Did Red October. What was the Red October book about? A military procedural, lightly woven plot that revolves around the detection of a Soviet nuclear submarine. Okay, guys. Ocean going on right now is called Red October. The FOMO promo, sell 10, get one free. But you don't you don't have to sell anything. Ed said 10 minutes ago, you don't have to sell anything. And uh, with that being said, I want to thank you for coming out. We got one more tonight. Get on the phone, call people, call, call, call people, get them on the next one, and we'll do uh, the hard. Didn't you hear 10 minutes ago, Ed said you don't have to refer nobody? What's he telling you to do right now? The hard work, I'm, I'm running, my, my, vo my voice is starting to go, but I got a good one left in me. So come, come and get your friends, pick them, pick up the phone and say, hey, what are you doing at 9 o'clock? Nothing great. You got to see something. Show them what we got going. So, yeah, this is at 6 o'clock. Uh, this is, you see, it's, uh, let me turn off my thing again, 182701. So he's doing these like every two hours trying to pitch new people. And you know why? Because the only way his coin has value is if more suckers join. That's the definition of a Ponzi scheme. That's the definition of a Ponzi scheme. The only way Ed gets out with profit is if new people put money in the pot. That's it. That's all it is. Let's hear this. Going on, they're going to thank you for it. When I first started with this, I said, miracle is not a word you want to take lightly. And a miracle is a blessing. And I believe that we have the ability to really bless people with this. And for some people, it will be a miracle.
So we have people that are here in this Zoom. You know, Ed, I'm glad. I'm glad you're at least finally using the Miracle branding properly. Uh, you know, I'm going to rewind this a little bit. I want you to listen to it because the last one, I gave them a lot of shit for not calling it a Miracle. Thank you, Ed. The marketing team over at uh, Boogie Gopher Club and over at uh, Miracle Cash and More. Thanks you for finally calling it a miracle. And a miracle is a blessing. And I believe that we have the ability to really bless people with this. And for some people, it will be a miracle. So we have people. That yeah, you, the people who get in early, it will be a miracle because you're going to rob all the people that get in after you. That's how a Ponzi scheme works. Oh, so shit. Why did I say the quiet part out loud again? You got to read between the lines. I'm sorry. Sorry, I said it out loud. Go on it. That are here in this Zoom, there are people, thousands of people all over the world that have uh, purchased some of our products that we just talked about. And based on some incredible things that are happening behind the scenes, um, the light of the tunnel is there and certain major things are getting ready to happen. And it is going to bless people. I mean, everything he's saying is illegal to say for any legitimate investment. But... Who called this a legitimate investment? Let's hear the end of Ed. He's got another minute. And I believe it will be a miracle for a lot of people. So with that being said, get back to the person who put you on this Zoom. Yeah, because it's an MLM. And tell them, hey, I want to know more. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Get Let me get one of those free sites. And I tell people, hey, come in for free. Register for free. And then start your... And then eventually we'll pressure you to buy something. Education. And when you're ready to buy, buy. This is not a this is not a you know a real pressure sale type of thing. It's not. It is what it is. If somebody just wants to buy the product because they see So what you're saying, Ed, is I have every right to critique and say exactly what's going on here. Thank you, Ed, for giving me that permission. I don't think my comments are gonna be nearly as nice as you are, but Ed, I love you. You're just doing your job. You just got suckered in early by some guy in Cyprus uh, who you didn't know was a criminal <laughs> convicted of online gambling. Come on, let's move on. See a possibility there for them? By all means, uh, do so. You do not have to build a team. You do not have to recruit. You do not have to sponsor. But he just said that. That's the only way you make money here. You do not have to get on the phone and call people. You don't have to do any of that. Yeah, because Ed does that for you. With this program, the product makes you the money. With that hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. I, I need to rewind back. You, you've just watched the same last 20 minutes as I have, right? Where he's like, oh, you refer people, you get it down. You know, you want to get your back to refer the person who brought you here. You know, a real pressure sale type of thing. It's not. It is what it is. If somebody just wants to buy the product because they see a possibility there for them, by all means, uh, do so. You do not have to build a team. You do not have to recruit. You do not have to sponsor. You do not have to get on the phone and call people. You don't have to do any of that. With this program... Isn't that what he just said you had to do? Like, five minutes ago? The product makes you the money. What product? The 2% transaction fees on crypto... on, 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 on a crypto exchange? Uh, you're, you're using all that product to build the pretty stores, which I think are pretty. They look like Apple stores. With that being said, I'd love to leave you off with this. Always, always, always remember, the best is yet to come. To God be the glory. Good night, everybody. Hey, great job, brother. I appreciate you, man. Thanks, brother Robert. Appreciate you. All right. So that's the end. We've played the whole thing. I've been very clear about when this was shot. This was not a super public thing. There we go. It's uh, October 5th, 2023. But now we know what the product is. That's the pitch. That's what they're telling people to share with other people. Live calls, questions, things like that, presentations. There is a legitimate product in a store that turns crypto into cash. Fine. Cool. They never really talked about the product last time I was on. But this Boogie Gopher Club, that's the scam of this. Make it up for yourself. Read between the lines. I've told you my opinion. Ed's told you his opinion. Ed said, are you between the lines? This is Richard from No Pants Profits, showing you how the Boogie Gopher Club is the crazy scam recruitment arm of Miracle Cash and more. Reminding you that I love Bitcoin. I am a huge fan of Bitcoin. I am up 
I'm not going to show you my actual wallet, but I am up uh, 21% in the last week in Bitcoin. Um, I love Bitcoin. I love crypto. Uh, but this ain't it, bro. This, as Randy Jackson would say, this ain't it, dog. Save your money. This is Richard from No Pants Profits reminding you that when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you got left to lose. And if you watch this channel regularly, you know what it is. It is your shirt. Have a great one. Stay away from Miracle Cash and more and Boogie Gopher Club because you'll see in my comments, they're going to go crazy. They're going to say they're going to take it down and everything like that. I know the law. I provided commentary on it. It's good. Please sue me, bro. Love to see you in a court because everything you're doing is a scam. Have a great one. Bye. Glad to be of help. 